For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. PSU men's basketball team split this past weekend, winning with a buzzer beater on Friday at Wayne, losing on Saturday to Augustana. We're joined now by Sheree Flack, a junior guard from Detroit. Down one, closing seconds of uh, Friday's game at Wayne. Christian Pekarik with the ball. Buzzer beater. 27-footer at the uh, buzzer. What was that like on the uh, floor and on the bench and in the locker room afterwards? Uh, it was pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it was nothing like how we drew it up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, well, Ben made a, a good pass and a nice crossover to get the ball up the floor, and Peck just made an incredible shot, and, you know, that was was really cool. You had a buzzer beater at the end of the first half. Have you ever been in a game with buzzer beaters in both halves? Um, No, I have not. That was the first for me. But it was, yeah, it was really cool, though. Team had 21 turnovers. Quite honestly, do you deserve to win a game like that? Probably not. We probably won't beat a good team ever with 21 turnovers. Um, we beat ourselves up a lot that game. But, um, you know, we just uh, stayed in it. Um, I think we played a lot better second half with turnovers, even though we still had 21. But, <laughs> but yeah, we cut it down a little bit probably for like the last couple minutes. So, yeah. Saturday night, you lost at Augustana. Uh, the team shot more three-pointers than you attempted uh, free throws. Can you l- win a game down the stretch uh, uh, with those kind of stats? Uh, probably not. Uh, it's a lot about following the scouting report, knowing who you're guarding and knowing what they do. Um, we knew a lot of guys would shoot three, a lot of three-pointers. We didn't expect, the, expect for them to make more than we shot free throws. But, you know, part of the game, part of knowing who you're checking, um, knowing your personnel you uh, go to northern and msu uh moorhead this weekend you've already played both of these teams uh we'll start with northern what will it take to get a win uh, i think the last time we played them we just didn't play hard uh, as we could um didn't execute much with a uh, game plan uh, it's just going in there playing hard knowing we can compete with anybody who's on the floor and um going over the game plan what have we been going through all practice i mean all week so you know, just going out there focused and ready to play. How about Moorhead? Same thing. Well, that was a little different. We were or we were up pretty much the first half for most of the game. And um, that's just playing for a full 40 minutes. You know, just going out there both halves and um, giving it all we got. You average 13 points a game, four and a half rebounds, just over three assists per game, less than three turnovers a game. Which stat do you like the best? Um... I would like the less than three turnovers a game. I wish it was like less than one or less than two, but um, that's probably my favorite one. And uh, probably get my assist up, rebounds, anything to help the team. I'm not really worried about points or anything like that. I just anything. If I average five points and eight assists, I would be happy. Just you know, helping the team out. Four games left in the regular season. This late in the year, how do you make sure you've got as much energy as you possibly can come Friday and Saturday? Um, well. We're competing for a fourth play spot, so that's uh, something to work towards and something to be happy for. So I think a lot of our guys are excited, and um, especially the seniors, it's their last go-around. So I think we're all just motivated, and uh, hopefully we get a home playoff game for the fans here at Bemidji. Best of luck. Thank you.